Hello UAPath experts, welcome to the UAPath.learner channel. Uh, today we will see about that uh, here. Uh, okay, so this is usually we are taking the process, but here there is a background process. Okay, let's take it background process. Why it is uh, using so it will run in the background at the same time multiple processes in the run in the same mission. Let us take uh, one one process. So what we can do. Uh, yeah, let us take one notepad, uh, notepad, and uh, uh, yeah, let's try to create a one notepad process. Notepad Pro, okay. So one is a notepad Pro. I choose in that uh, background process. It's not like a normal process. I choose in that background process, okay. Uh, so within that what we can do is so we can generate the one random number and the date and time uh, with the seconds okay write down uh, line by line okay so the thing is uh, but but the thing is you see if you see here the background process here there is some category is missing that is a ui automation there is any no ui automation activities we just try try type into there is no type into there is no click okay there is no okay so check there is no select select uh, item there is no select item these things are all not there okay now what we can do so instead of this so i'm just creating one folder uh, notepad pro so here we just create a one files okay normal files so what we can do so just uh, write uh, text write text file okay the text is like yes yeah, so the text is like uh, new random of dot next of thousand to ten thousand okay any random number it will generate dot to string plus this will uh, the type is now dot to string now dot to string ooh, 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 ooh. string okay now dot to string uh, mm m m m d d d d d d d d small d okay d d d d uh, y y y y h h m um, this is okay so basically so it will return one line line by line okay so instead of right line we can just use a append line okay, append line so copy this whole entire thing and here paste it uh, uh oh okay one, one second do one thing here uh, what we can do so within this we are just creating the files empty files okay uh, slash this one dot this plus dot txt okay. that is the text and this one if you want to write uh, we just write uh, the same thing okay so basically we are writing the same thing so suppose for example if i run one time it will write it will write create one file here okay let us see see it's uh, created the one random number underscore this is a time and uh, this is a whole thing understand so this is a within the within inside that also the same thing is seconds if you run again It will create another random number. See, another random number and time seconds is different. Okay, that is a that is a basically the work. So what we can do? So we can just use the while loop. While this is a true. Is a drag here. Okay. So if just just true means, it will continuously run and uh, create a multiple uh, things. If we just observe, see it is it is uh, creating multiple things. 
Uh, uh, just observe this number 16, 90. Okay, lot of files are it is creating. Lot of files it is creating. Okay. So basically, instead of that, so what we can do, so we can just put this one delay. Delay activity, just put one delay, one one second. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Every one second it will create. Let us run. Okay. Every one second, let it. Every one second, see four, five, six, like that. Okay. Ten. Okay. It will increase. Let us uh, if remove also. It will create one by one. So that is the work of this uh, uh, process. Okay. Just creating the uh, files. Now, oh, just publish this one. Okay. Let's publish. Is a Notepad Pro. That is a process name. Once we publish, okay. Let's go to the processes. Create one process. Uh, Notepad Pro. Environment. And uh, yeah, create the process. Once you create the process, so you just go to the UI robot. UI robot, you can see UI robot here. Here UI robot is working. Yeah, here just see this Notepad Pro that is a new process. Just download that process. You can run this new Notepad Pro from this uh, uh, UI robot. Just uh, I ran this robot. And uh, if you see the running processes, one running processes, you can see this. Uh, this is a current running processes background. It is not a foreground. You can stop this background process if you want to stop. Okay, this is a attended bot. So whenever they want, they can just uh, call that bot. Now, uh, let's go and create another robot. Another robot. Okay, uh, open UI path and. Uh, what we can do? Save Excel in the desktop. This is a Excel Pro. Excel Pro. This is Excel Pro. Okay. So this Excel Pro has uh, again. I am taking the business uh, background process, not uh, a normal process background process so this is the second second background process huh? that is a notepad pro, not notepad pro excel pro this is the second process so what we can do so we can just uh, update these details Update this. Uh, random numbers. So generate. We will generate the random numbers. Excel application scope. Okay, and uh, browse the Excel. Uh, that Excel is on the desktop. Excel Pro. Okay, so within this, so what we can do, so we can just uh, use that uh, uh, send operator to store that random number. Uh, rand n o. Okay, so the rand n o equal to new random number of dot next uh, of one comma thousand. Okay? One comma thousand. Uh, this one is a. Uh, it will generate the random number. Uh, just check this uh, random number integer integer 32 okay this random number using the while the same condition so let's imagine this is a uh, different process okay you can use a delay basically 00 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 and here what we can do so we can just use a right cell Okay, right cell. 
uh, to just increase that uh, number, so row number, I'm just taking that one variable called row num, row number, that is an integer, integer, by default the row number equal to 2, row number equal to 1, okay. by default it is 1. So what we can do, so just copy paste and drag this one to here, okay, row number equal to so now plus one to increase one by one. So instead of this uh, range a plus uh, row row num dot two string. So that first it will it is a a one a two a three like that. Okay. Now what we have to write? So we have to write the random number dot two string. And uh, so let's set the color. If condition if uh, random number is uh, less than uh, 5000 so actually 500 it is a s right set color set range color uh, for the this range same range and if this is a greater than then that is a Green, okay so this is our process just run and check whether it is executing properly or not see if it is a less than it is a just uh, what happened it is not generating the random number again okay so one time only it is generating the random number what we can do we can keep this random number into the inside the while loop minus okay so let's try random number that is a uh, basically yeah uh, reservable it will be a green it's a 400 yeah it's a green right it's a green okay so that is our process okay let's stop and publish this process Okay, our process name is Excel Pro. So now how many processes we have? We have two processes. Let's create another process. So two packages. Let's create a process like a, what is that? Uh, Excel Pro, okay. Excel Pro. Okay, now let us close the UiPath Studio and open this uh, UiPath, uh, this one, robot, agent. And this Excel, is, so there is a half half, right? Now nothing is working, nothing is running. See, so two processes we can run at, at, the, at the same time. Now, now see here, there is no background processes, there is no foreground processes. Now just try to download this Excel Pro. We have Excel Pro as well as a Notepad Pro. Okay, so I'm running the Excel Pro and Notepad Pro at the same time. If you see. These are two processes are running in the background. Okay, so you can observe in the background the Excel is going on, and this one is also going on. Okay, in the parallel. Okay, this one is also going on. This one is also going on. So there is a parallel process in the background. You can run any number of processes. So, like right, this whole thing is a two different projects. So two different uh, things it is working. But uh, so both are both are doing the different type of work. Okay, so doing the, the different type of work. See. So these two processes are running parallelly. Okay, so the two different processes, Excel Pro and Notepad Pro, both are doing the uh, different. So that is a uh, uh, basically the usage of the background process in the UiPath Studio. So thanks for watching. So please subscribe if you're not a subscribe. Okay, so please click on the bell icon and uh, yeah, please share, like, do comment. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah, you're with the experts. Thank you very much.